All right, so hey everyone, Mexo responded to the smear campaign. It responded to the accusation of basically stealing donations. So lots and lots to talk about today because this affects the whole market, guys. If you guys want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. A synonymous Twitter account making a serious accusation against Nexo has caused the crypto lender to issue a cease and desist notice. So it's taking twice down. Uh, Nexo has hit it back what it called fake news and rumors that the founders were part of a charity embezzlement scandal, which I don't agree. Uh, I haven't seen the tweets really, but um, this is, you know, serious accusations and, you know, Nexo basically responded striking back and, uh, you know, because a lot of people are thinking Nexo is going to be the next to fall, right? They're saying Nexo is the next to fall, uh, Celsius is strong, but they just tried to acquire or they just acquired Celsius. So, um or try to or made them an offer which is crazy you know this uh and the claims are untrue and defamatory if they issue the public cease and desist in the original of the allegations there's always two solid stories but several anonymous twitter accounts are using lies and distortion yet another smear campaign against nexo and there's a lot of fud going around and you know with terra luna nobody was sure what happened um seems like an account posted a series of tweets claiming that Nexo's co-founders uh, basically took funds uh, to buy real estate and fund the lavish personal travel. Uh, the threat has garnered a large audience. I'm not going to read through the full tweet because I don't actually think uh, you know it's worth looking into, but I just wanted to point you guys out that there's a lot of uh, news overall that's affecting the market in a worse way, and there's a lot of negative news. And if you guys want to smash that like button, I really appreciate it. But Terra Luna Classic, like people could, were saying that burns cannot happen. And it's completely fine sometimes to take a week off, to take a month off even from the crypto markets. Because right now it's getting crazier and we're entering those crazy points. To mimic a typo and excuse to fact checkers by confusing two separate people, uh, two different founders. So Costa Kanchev and Konstantin Krastev as the same person. Speaking to Cointelegraph, auto share a delisted article which was, you know, could be a mistake on his name. Otto pointed out that Nexo's white paper says it's powered by Credismo. Uh, Nexo co-founders Georgi Shulev and Anthony Trencha were the company businesses, developments, and innovation officers. Uh, Nexo said it helped Harma have not and never had any operations. Uh, why would a company with hundreds of millions of revenue and billions of assets, assets under management, vetted by Fidelity, MasterCard, and dozen regulars ever have to resort to petty theft, let alone children? But again, you know, really bad news is going on overall. Um, so right now, there's gonna there's crazy news um, and there's crazy drama. But I wanted to get let you guys know that you know the markets are gonna go more insane. Uh, do I agree with this? Probably not. You know, I don't agree with what's happening with the market overall. I think a lot of people are very pissed on both sides, and that's because the markets are crashing. So nobody is sure. You know, like, for example, Voyager Digital issues notice of default to 3 Arrow Capital. Like, Voyager said it will continue to operate and fulfill their customer needs and withdrawals amid its current issues. And they said, you know, pay up. Pay up, you know. Uh, and, and that's exactly what they're doing. And I don't think if they if 3 Arrow Capital can repay it, I, were they bailed out? Um, the team is currently working to strengthen its balance sheets. Voyager notes it had access to 500 million funds from its loan agreement with trading Alameda Research. At the moment, the firm said it ex had exceeded 75 million worth of funds from Alameda. Last week, Voyager gave three AC deadlines for a repayment of its Bitcoin and USDC loans. The firm requested 25 million to be played last Friday, also requested that. On Wednesday, Voyager's share price plummeted by 60% as crypto stocks went on downward dive. So crazy, crazy times we live in. What does this mean for Terra? Obviously nothing good, but what is going to happen next? You know, we are still waiting for that burn. We're waiting for tons of things. Uh, Cointelegraph, keeping us updated. But Voyager disclosed that the firm had $137 million cash in crypto as of June 24, 2022. When, which might be a lot. I'm not sure how many uh, funds there are, but... Right now, um, Alameda Research gave them 500 million of funds to say, let, look, let the users cash out, bail them out. Um, and when the right time comes, which is really nice of Alameda Research and, you know, uh, Sam Bankman Freed. But that being said, what do you guys think will happen next? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Peace, everyone.